Hey guys, hope everybody's doing fantastic and having a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Today I want to take a second and tweak my screen and then go over a little knife that's been in my collection for a very long time. And that's the Real Steel G5 Metamorph Compact. This is a knife that I'd seen either on Knife Center's channel when it first came out or one of the reviewers had it, but it was an early front flipper for me, one of the first front flippers that I actually had, the second to be exact. I got a Civivi McKenna first, but this is an aluminum um, knurled handle, gentleman's folder with a really unique front flipper tab with some jimping right here on the front. So give it a flick, and that is the pointy, stabby, slicey blade of the Real Steel Metamorph Compact. Blades VG10, and the handle is aluminum. It's very drop shutty. It's very flickable. I've got the regular G5 Metamorph. I don't know if it's the regular. It's the Knife Center exclusive. I'll do a review on it, the full size. And its front flipper tab is a little bit different, where this one, I really like it because it's, it's almost curved in there. It's curved so it fits your thumb or your middle finger, your flicking finger perfectly, where the other is just a tab that sticks up. But that's the Real Steel Compact Metamorph. It's a great office carry. It's a great around the house carry. It's a great box opener. It's a great twine cutter. Is it a hard to use knife? No, but is it thin behind the edge and very, very slicey? Absolutely. Is it pokey and a staple or a splinter remover if you needed it to be? Absolutely. Would it be a self-defense knife? I don't know anything about that, but it's definitely sharp and pokey. The pocket clip on it is deep carry. It's got good retention, but it's in and out of the pocket. Super, super easy. Again, I like this knife as an office carry. When it's closed, the blade totally disappears into the handle. So it's very compact in pocket. Takes up very little real estate in pocket. When you're using it, it's got right around a three inch blade. Um, about a three and a half inch handle. You can see here in my medium large shot size hand, I can get a full four finger grip on the knife. I also have different choke up points depending on how I'm gonna use the knife, but it fits my hand just fine. Let's do some quick size comparisons and see how it stacks up to the Cold Steel 4 Max. And to the Civivi, whoops. Cold Steel 4 Max is out of frame. Sorry about that, guys. It's a VV mini ban baby banter. Bitch made bug out. It's a little smaller than the bug out. See another knife that we might all be familiar with. Let's see how it compares to the Civivi Elementum. It's about the same length as the Civivi Elementum, just a little bit shorter than the Benchmade Bug Out. And that's the Real Steel G5 Compact Metamorph. Great knife. Um, not a knife that I get a lot of use out of, that I carry a lot. Super light too, guys. But it's a knife that I used to carry quite a bit. It's a knife that I've kept in my collection for a reason because I really like it. It's a knife I could recommend. I will put a link in the description of where this knife's available. I don't have any affi affiliate links. It'll just help you find it and help you get the specs because I don't do that. So any case, most importantly, guys, as we part on this morning or this afternoon or this lovely evening, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for one another. Love one another. Do something kind for somebody. And know that I love you all. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.